Kui is a generic terminology for anything that's snacks, finger food, mostly sweet, some savoury. Particularly in Singapore, we have sort of fusion. For Nonya Kui, there's an injection of a Chinese element to it. The common ingredient that binds all Nonya Kui is that there is definitely certain element of coconut. Either coconut milk, shredded coconut, koto ubi, it is tapioca, a top layer of grated coconut that is cooked in gula malata. The kuih lapis is coconut milk and flour and sugar. There's no purple way. So the idea of peeling layer by layer is actually started by the kids. Ah. Back then, they want to prolong the enjoyment. So they just peel layer by layer plus it's fun. Back then, the way they sequence their colour is like a colour coding. Each household has their own colour code. So basically, it's a signature saying that this colour coding means it's from my household. And you can, from there, you can taste you can taste the different taste of each household. Angkuku is usually meant for baby full month celebration. You see that a lot. Historically, it's from China. When it comes over to Singapore, they still bring over the shape and mold and everything, but using local ingredient. I wouldn't say Nora Kui is very, very different from the other Kui. It's, quite, it's actually quite similar. It's still up to individual cook how they want their Kui to taste like. Not much different. Lah. Malik Kui and Nonya Kui, I can say, is similar. Flour. Sugar, gula melaka, coconut, the kue kosui is made from palm sugar. And onde onde, also they have a gula melaka inside, kue lopis, gula melaka. And gluten surrounding, glutinous rice with a spicy coconut. This actually is everyday kue lah, you know. Breakfast also you can have it, especially when tea time, they will come down, you know, tea time, they will have lopis and coffee. The steamed kue all the, is a natural color. The Singaporean love to eat kue, all that kind of thing. The Kuih Tat is actually about the same. Chinese New Year, all our Chinese customers will order from us. Indian Kuih, you can see like different, like uh, Putu Piring, uh, the Kuih Apom, you can see the different. Yeah, because traditionally, Apom and Putu Mayam should have been originated in South India and Sri Lanka. They usually eat it with curry, and then they have it dessert style also, like, you know, where they add it sweet. So that's the thing that has become more famous in Singapore and Malaysia. They love to have it with coconut, sugar, coconut milk. So it's become more of a kueh. The mini mini walks there. We use it to cook the apom. So it's almost like the pancake. They call it apom balik. And there's some Chinese shops also. Right? They sell Chinese pancake, peanut pancake, and all that, right? So the word apom is actually a South Indian word. It's a, with Sanskrit roots. Lah. Apom basically means like bread. I've seen customers eat it in all kinds of ways. The way they eat the pukmai, they put the sugar inside, they put the coconut, they roll it up, and then it becomes like a, you know, the Malay green, the kueh dada. So it becomes almost like that. Lah. This is just very soft, gentle texture. Traditionally, it's actually eaten in curry. In Sri Lanka and South India, eating with sugar and coconut is largely unheard of. It's only common in Malaysia and Singapore to eat it with sugar and coconut. So I think we should take pride that this is how Singaporeans used to eat. Singaporeans, we have a lot of culture. You, know? you can have a, try the Chinese, the Indian, the Malay. It's also a synopsis of uh, what we have over here in Singapore. We have this kind of uh, sort of fusion 